when you get your vital sign taking, you should have a second hand watch. Mm -hmm. If you will go to the MC2, you will have to have your watch. Now I am facing my patient. The first thing I should do is I should organize all my materials, my vital signs straight. I should see to it that everything is prepared and organized. My BP apparatus is functional. I should have tested this before I will do this. I will take the vital signs of my patient. Now that I have tested this and this is functional, okay, I'll approach my patient. Mom, good morning. Si Miss Grace, our family, mom, ako ang dimuhang caregiver from 7 to 3 p.m. mom or 7 to 7 p.m. mom. Um, Monday through Friday. Yan ni po ni mo, ma'am, kaya magkuha po ba itong signs ni mo. Mangutana ta ako daan, ma'am. Natay na inom, ma'am, nga coffee. Yes, doon. Yes, kung nakainom ka of, of coffee, I will take your vital signs and your your temperature after five minutes only. So maybe I'll I'll pass it for I'll pass to another patient. Kay you have taken a coffee or hot or any drinks that you have taken that will alter the reading of your vital signs. Mm -hmm. Am I clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So granting now that five minutes is over. I will now take your vital signs. First, I'll see to it that Okay. I will see to it that I'm going now to take the body temperature. I'll see to it that the temperature, the thermometer is clean, and this is a news. I will now wipe from the bulb, this is the cleanest, to the dirtiest. I will see to it that this is marked zero. There's no, this is from zero. Okay. Mom, pwede ko ang taka o body temperature, pero... Ako sa trapuhan ang inuhang aksela, ma'am. Okay. I will see to it that this is zero. And then I'll see to it that I will place this tip or the bulb. This is the stem and this is the bulb. Bulb, B-U-L-B. I will place this in the middle and very, very close to the skin. Okay. Then, I will now get the pulse rate at the same time. Get the pulse rate, radial pulse. And at the same time, when getting the pulse rate, I'll place my hand on the abdominal side. Taking the pulse rate for one whole minute. Then, while taking the pulse rate, one whole minute. Okay, na human ako one whole minute. Ako nang gimemorize. I will not remove my hand because I will continuously measure the respiratory rate, the rise and fall sa yung abdomen for one whole minute, not letting my patient let know her that you are taking in order that she will not be conscious. That will alter your result. Now, I'm done. Okay. I will now get my jot down notebook and I will read first the temperature. This is 36.3. And this is considered now to be dirty or contaminated. So I'm going to wipe from dirtiest to the dirtiest, then drop. Then I will now wash it with soap and water or disinfectant. Am I clear? Yes? 
Yes. yes. Okay. So understood na ha? Now, I will record the result. Oh, temperature, 36.1. Okay. RR, okay, 18. Yeah. Ang yan, ang pulse rate, okay, 78. Okay. Now, I will proceed to take the vital signs. Knowing the vital signs, I should first introduce to you the parts of the BP apparatus. This is your BP. This is your BP apparatus. This is the speedmo manometer. Aneroid. Okay. This is the indicator. And this is the air valve. B U L B. Air valve. And this is your regulator. BP regulator. A blood pressure regulator. This is your BP tube. Inside, inside this, this one. Na ano siya slice dali? Is ang color green ng Japan inan ni nay? A black ng Japan. Is the BP bladder ang sold ana? This is your BP cup. Kani siya ang wrapper. Na asa sold is the BP bladder. You're going to wash this every now and then. This in fact, kay karir siya sa kagaw. Yes, this will contaminate. The, the microorganism will be carried on from one patient to another because you have only one BP cup. And besides, even if masagyot ang BP cup sa mga patient, you're going to wash it every two, two weeks or every week or so. Am I clear? This is the BP bladder inside. Pareha po niya ang bitura, ang old form. But the color is, and this is rubber, the grass. Nara. So, kwaon na siya din. Mga may purpose, so why doesn't it open it here? Makutong lang na siya dito, lalo makuha ang hulbo ka rin siya. Clear po? So, you're done with the parts of the BP apparatus. Now, this is your stethoscope. Now, your stethoscope is for auscultation, right? You cannot do auscultation without a stethoscope. Am I clear? Now, this is the ear pieces. This is the bineural, bineural, and bineural spring. And this is the stethoscope rubber tube. And this is the diaphragm. And this is the bell. This is the diaphragm. This is the bell. If you do this, can you sensitive? If you close that one, can you sensitive? We usually, when will this be used? Superficial lang, mo hang kuaan, like the BP, you can use this diaphragm. But para na mo, while mo take this among FHT or cattle heart tone sa mga mapo, use this bell. We can readily see this, right? Then, so you have known already that part of the stethoscope. When you place your stethoscope in your ear, it should be, the earpiece should be away from you. It should never be inside you. It should not face within you. Otherwise, disagot dun pa ni mo ang tibuok ni mong oras, pinakaataw, pinakabuwan, di di ka kadungog, bungol di ka. It's because, you are not placing the earpiece properly. Do you understand? Yes, this corresponds to the positioning, anatomical position of your ears. Am I clear? Yes. Are you ready now? Yes. Okay. Ma'am, nautanat ako. Kung di ka taglakaw, ma'am, so, o wala, o nagitan sa glakaw, let her stand by and make a rest for 5 to 10 minutes. And then, Go back and get your your BP. Okay? Why? Because it will affect the BP reading. Am I clear? So keep rested. So ma'am, nakarest naman ka ma'am no. Kuaan ta ka ma'am ha? You should take your BP on the left arm. Press your left arm. Why? Because the heart. 
because the apex of the heart is inclined towards the left. The axis of your heart, if this is the apex of your heart, the axis is here. So, kinahanglan, much better, nga in level, ang kaniimuhang arm, kung ang diri, kung maghigda ang pasyente, specifically. So, that's the proper way. Am I right? Okay, now, place it here, ma'am. Sige, place your hands. And I will have to tie now. Not to tie, not to lose. It should be that ayaw is one thing. Just can you check them then? Na na lang ha. Okay. Now it should be one inch above the presses of your elbow. So one inch, and then try to insert your hands, your two fingers. If it can get inside, it's all right. Not too tight, not too loose. Am I am I yes, understandable? Okay. Now it should be that these two in between is your brachial pulse. Which pulse? Brachial. Okay. You palpate the brachial pulse, and then anticubital, huh? Your brachial is in the anticubital. Anticubital in an anak. Na dili ay. Okay. So, I must see to it that the earpiece is in the anatomical position. And then, I'll try to check which is sensitive. So, this is sensitive, the diaphragm. And, I have to warm it first. So that it will not, the patient will not feel cold on the skin. Okay, so if you're getting the BP, ma'am, pila yung BP you should BP ni mo? One ten over twenty, ano ba ron? Exceed ni mo kung pa mga two or three degrees. Okay, so one ten or one thirty ka kung usual ang unsa usual BP ni mo? At to ka mo pump until kapat malapas. Malapas yun. Okay. Then slowly release the flow. One twenty over seventy. Now, pag anak ni mo kanisya back to zero na siya. Okay, now, if inyo rang anaon para mag zero, wak na air. So, kani siya, pag padong dito, muna yung close. So, makapam ka. Kung padong diri, slowly release it. Nahinay of release. Okay? Kasabot? Okay. So, pag padong dito, i-close ni mo ang bal. Aron makapam ka. It padong diri hinahinay, manaog siya para mo release ka sa air na imong gitam. Hinayon ra gyud kay para maka ma, mo descend siya, madunggan nimo. Your your eyes and your ears will synchronize. Okay? 120 over 70 ma'am. So, mo na imong blood pressure ma'am. Okay? Karon ma'am, kumusta man ka? How do you feel? Okay. Okay, now, okay. So, that's it. Right after I have done, I will now do my after care. I will now disinfect the air with alcohol, and so on. And then, I will now jot down the beauty of my patient.